I'm Gail. Welcome back to Gail's Low Carb Recipe Ideas. Today we're going to make a hot breakfast cereal. Now one of my followers, Paula, she has created this cereal and she emailed me and told me that I could put it on my site if I would like to. And so I'm calling it Paula's Low Carb Hot Breakfast Cereal. It's quite tasty and I want you to give it a try. So let me show you how to make it. Paula, thank you so much for this awesome recipe. Now, the first thing we've got here is I have six tablespoons of fine almond flour. And I get mine at Costco. It's a Kirkland brand. Quite like it. Um, now we're going to put in two teaspoons of golden flaxseed. Use the golden flaxseed because I find, and Paula finds, that the dark flaxseed is kind of fishy and you don't want that flavor in there. Now I buy mine at the bulk barn, my regular golden flax seeds, and then I just pure, um, put them in my Ninja and make them fine. I grind them all up and it's perfect. I store them in the fridge. And I have not had any problem with them going rancid. I've heard some people say that they gradually go rancid. I don't know if it's because I'm using the sealer jar, but it works beautifully. That it's it's not, they don't smell, they don't go bad, they're really really good. Now I'm going to add in a quarter cup. Now I've changed this up only because I didn't have almond milk in the house right at the moment. I'm using um, my cashew milk, unsweetened by silk and I usually use that when I use my bake my um, bread so this way it helps me use it up somewhat also so a quarter cup of almond milk is what Paula recommends but I put the cashew milk in and, and it's really good with it a quarter cup of water and then we're going to add in a dash of salt and I'm using about an eighth for that. Now my stevia liquid is down to nothing. I can't get enough out of there. So what we need is four drops of stevia. I did make it with the stevia drops or sorry the stevia powder and I really liked it but I still got a little wee bit of that aftertaste and I don't like the aftertaste that's why I like mixing stevia with uh, erythritol or monk fruit or something so this time I'm adding in a teaspoon and a quarter or oh, sorry a teaspoon and a third of erythritol monk fruit combination to get that sweetness so I'm just going to take my time here mix it all up and we're going to put it in the microwave for one minute. It worked perfect for me for a minute. You can also do this in a saucepan on the stove if you don't like using the microwave. So I'm going to put it in the microwave for one minute. Now I just took it out of the microwave, so I'm going to stir it up. You can see how it's getting thicker. I have to let it sit for a little bit because I do not want to get burnt. So we will taste it in a minute. Okay, we're going to give it a try. Look how thick it is. Look. It's awesome. You could add almond milk if you would like um, to make it runnier if you want it runnier. My dad used to have porridge every morning and he would add milk and it was like soup, runny soup and he, that was his breakfast every morning and this is really great Paula. I thank you for sharing this with us um, so I could share it with everybody else. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. I, I quite enjoy it. And this is the kind of breakfast I would prefer than having my big bacon and eggs and all that kind of stuff. And actually, my chia, chocolate chia pudding, I've been having that every morning for breakfast, so now I'm going to have to substitute some of this instead. Very tasty. Now I changed up um, the sweetener in it, and I do like it better with um, the erythritol monk fruit. But it's your choice. 
and I did use cashew milk which I didn't have the almond milk and I'm sure the almond milk would be just as delicious so if you have that in the house give it a try. It only took a minute to cook it in the microwave and you got a, a very um, healthy breakfast. So Paula I want to thank you again and I would love anybody else that has any kind of um, secret recipes that they have and you want to share with me and I can post on my site on it would be wonderful I have a email it's gales low carb recipe ideas at gmail.com and you'll see it on the, the video here so that you can copy it down you can personally um, send it to me if you want to talk to me about any of the recipes that I've created you're very welcome to send me a message so if you'd like to go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com you can try this recipe from Paula and try some of my others. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye now.